Africa, we go to Sierra Leone. And that country is in a 72-hour lockdown after a sixth COVID-19 case was reported. Six, only six, I should say. Let's go on Skype now. We speak with Eric Kawa. Uh, he's with African News as a correspondent. He's also a radio host uh, with Radio Sierra Leone. Hello, Eric. Hi, Joy. Eric, thank you for your time. Right, that's okay. Uh, so, w w w Sierra Leone only has six cases. Um, we know that Sierra Leone was hard, well, one of the hardest hit countries when Ebola uh, came up. And right now it is dealing with coronavirus. But you're just at number six. But then you are on a 72-hour lockdown. All right, uh, Gifty, now uh, this morning it starts to say that the country recorded another new case, which is given now a total of seven cases, and uh, lockdown ended uh, yesterday. Okay. So uh, that is the situation so far. So w what is it that uh, Sierra Leone is doing about movement of people in and out of the country? Here in Ghana, one of the biggest problem has, problems have been people who are traveling in because the very first case was imported. What is Sierra Leone's story? Uh, are people still coming in and out? How is it able to keep the, the virus at bay? Because only six uh, cases have been recorded there so far. All right, so that has been one of the very huge concerns because many of the cases that were reported in many African countries are imported co uh, cases from uh, the diaspora and even the one here is also one that traveled from the diaspora who came into the country on the 16th of March. Mm -hmm. uh, then they reported a case on the 31st of March. But the government, a uh, uh, few days uh, later, the, after the 16th, around the 20th, uh, something had to declare, uh, uh, put a ban and restriction on all international flights that were coming in the country, except for international situations. And also, the country also uh, uh, locked its borders uh, with regards to neighboring Guinea and Liberia as well. So that is uh, one of the key things that they're doing and more concerns are also about looking at the uh, about, about the riverine areas because uh, we also got complaints of, over the lockdown that people uh, had to move from a boat who came from neighboring Guinea. So there are also concerns about more measures being put in place and putting uh, a restriction on uh, those other areas as well. Interesting story. So Sierra Leone uh, puts restrictions on its borders, especially with the African countries around. So that would say, well, someone would say that was a stitch in time, and which is why perhaps the country has only six cases. But with the 72-hour lockdown, what reasons did the government give for imposing that sort of lockdown when there were only six? And I'm using Ghana as an example because we did not go in a lockdown when we had six so there were there are only six but they're in they went into a lockdown but now that lockdown is over it was just 72 hours what sort of reasons did the government give for that action okay first of all it is uh significant to note that the president declared a state of emergency for uh, one year that is uh, way before even the country declared a single case of the coronavirus and then starting the restrictions are also placed uh, to be sure that uh the help in the fight against uh, the uh, uh, COVID-19. Though the action was met with so many debates and so many reactions because uh, the one year uh, state of emergency was said to be quite a huge time, especially considering the fact that the country is uh, there. With the fish location under uh, section 29, uh, says that uh, the president would declare a state of emergency in, in a and of that. And Eric, I'm losing you. I'm losing you intermittently. But if I hear you, what you're saying, you said that the government earlier declared a state of emergency, and that state of emergency declared is for the whole year. Yes, exactly, for a whole year before the country uh, had to impact uh, uh, record a single case. So as it is happening now, the, the lockdown was also re uh, announced. Uh, that 72 hours of lockdown. Uh, that happened immediately when the, 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 the country recorded other new cases. And during the lockdown, on the very first day of the left lockdown, the country recorded another case, uh, which uh, gave a total of six. And the lockdown ended yesterday. And today, the Ministry of Information also made an announcement that there is also a new case, which has given a total of, uh, which has given a total of seven. 
So as we speak, the total of the total recorded case in Sierra Leone is seven. W yes, which, seven cases recorded so far. Mm, w which other intervention or which other action is the government taking? And when they declare uh, one year of state of emergency, exactly what are the actions expected to follow? Okay, so that has to do with the ban of religious gatherings, which is one, and also uh, the restriction of uh, uh, also uh, social gatherings. And there's also been a curfew that was uh, imposed in one of the uh, northern uh, districts, which is Cambia, that shares border to neighboring Guinea. And that curfew also has to do with uh, uh, um, from uh, seven or uh, from eight, 8 p.m. to 7 a.m., which uh, was also declared in that aspect. And then uh, many individuals, as it said, move the security force again to level two, which means uh, citizens should also be very careful, especially with security issues. And so citizens were worried about the rights and other issues, because even during the lockdown, we saw uh, some uh, uh, skirmishes between the security forces and citizens who uh, flouted the law or who went on the street. But I was I interviewed the deputy head of media at the Serbian police, who is. Uh, uh, Samuel Sayo Contest. He spoke with me yesterday and he told me that they actually uh, condemned the action of the security forces who were seen uh, beating a man, supposedly said to be a man who is, who is not uh, mentally okay. Uh, so he said they defunct that uh, action, but also called on all citizens to make sure that they follow the, the certain rules because in a state of emergency, of course, the rights of the people will not be observed as it used to be. That's a very detailed report there for us. Thank you so much, Eric. Eric Kawa is a, a correspondent for African News. is a radio host with Radio Sierra Leone, giving us that uh, uh, breakdown there. So in Sierra Leone, they've recorded only six, six cases. But what they've done is that the country is in a state of emergency. The president there has announced a state of emergency and they're observing the routines in any state of emergency. So there is a curfew. Um, there, are, there are restrictions on gathering, mass gatherings as well. And just yesterday, they finished a 72-hour lockdown. And this is a country that has just recorded its case number six. It looks like Sierra Leone has taken a lot of cues from Ebola, Ebola well, seven, I should say, seven. Uh, it's taking a lot of cues from Ebola, it looks like, for Sierra Leone because it was really hit by that uh, uh, outbreak as well. So we've just come back from Sierra Leone. We're going to take a very quick break. When I return, we go on to the front line. Do stay with us.